Ready to uh I'm ready to take the dub here, man. Two teams. Lojo and myself versus one rod and flair. How many points is this flair? We've each chosen a random destination within the United States. Lojo and I sent Flair and One Rod to New Orleans, Louisiana, also known as Sportsman's Paradise. And well, they sent us to Arizona. Are you serious? Each team has a budget of one thousand dollars. Each species we catch will give us 100 points. But for every dollar we spend, it'll take one point away from our team. Follow along as we go head to head in the Guggen US Challenge. somewhere to go catch a fish. That's what we're after. We're doing a challenge right now. It's One Rod versus myself, okay, uh, versus Lojo and John B. We got dropped off in Louisiana. We're at New Orleans, never been here before. And we have a very, very strict budget where we don't want to rent a car, we don't really want to get a hotel. Yeah, do you guys have any availability for tonight? But really all we gotta do is catch as many species as we possibly can. So we wanna see if one of you guys can come out and pick us up from the airport. And there will be a nice bonus that you guys pick us up. We'll, get, we'll give you a little hookup. Okay, right on. Um, it says uh, zone two and uh, I think we're at nine. Okay, all right. Okay, that sounds good. We'll... Okay, thanks man, appreciate it, bye. What did that We got a ride. We got a ride. We got a ride. So he said he's like 35 minutes away. Okay. So we'll just hang out. If a, if a viewer shows up, we'll have a bomb here and yeah. then we'll have him pick us up at the canal yep, after. Perfect, that's how the movie better. But, Who is that? Who is that guy? So it's, it's uh, I think his name's Charlie. He said Charlie. But you know Greg Hackney? Yeah, he's one of my it's favorite It's his parameters. son. Really? Yeah. How does he have your number? I, he, him and I are talking on social media. Oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. I got So I posted, Zach, my old camera guy, knows him. He saw our post, called him, gave him my number, and he called me. Gotcha, gotcha. So he's the guy who was boat fishing. Yeah, I said boat fishing. Wow. So he's supposed to come He's supposed to come pick us up. Did he just hop out of work to come get us, or? He's fat. He said he's in the truck headed I, here. I, I think that's literally what he did. He is fast, so. <laughs> Well, we're gonna hang out here. There's a chance a viewer shows up. Uh, well, a viewer is showing up, but a random viewer, I should, should say. Uh, but we're gonna hopefully get picked up here and catch some fish, so stay tuned. What's up? Did you come pick us up? Yeah, you did. did. You did. That was him. That yeah. was him. He told us. He told us. He told us. <laughs> I called BS. Well, I'll literally be there in 15 minutes. See, Tyler, there you go. Tyler. There you go. I will be here for you, Tyler. Right there. I highly doubt you're actually coming. Dude, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Shout out, Tyler. You, you let me know when you get your captain's yeah, license. I'll let you we'll come back and catch a fish with you. All right. All right. Take care, man. Have a good All one, right. man. Well, we're at the first spot, City Park. I see a bridge. We got to get some bass lures on. I think we need to get the largey knocked out right away. I'm actually going to put on the micros, try oh. to catch like a crappie or something. You know, we don't need big fish. We need species. So we're going to work as a team here. Whatever will go for the largies, I'll go for whatever small species might be in here. Our next charter guys, I say charter, they're not actually charter, well he might be, but not charters, that sounds bad. We didn't hire any guys for this, I promise. But he just pulled up, our next ride, so I said, we're gonna try to catch a largemouth, so he's gonna come hang out with us, and maybe he has some tips for us. Heck yeah, let's do it. All right, you got a bait caster? Uh, yes sir, let's see, let's see right there. How's it going? What was your name? Charlie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, how's it going? Doing all right. Nice to meet you, bro. How's it going, Charlie? Nice to meet you. Well, tell me a little bit about what you're thinking. You, you, um, you have some, so some species we can go after. A little bit farther down the road, like towards the uh, end of the, uh, like the boot. Okay. Uh, they got a couple ponds that they got some, some big ones. They got to down here. They have a lot of burrow pits, which is like, uh, they got big excavators that'll come and dig these big old sand pits. Okay. And then they fill them back up with water and fish. Yeah, like a sand. Okay, yeah, sand so pit. These, That's how we yeah. got sand pits. Nice. So that's that's where I fish bass, like whenever I'm just on the bank fishing. So as far as, so do you do 
bow fishing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that what you want to do tonight? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. What do we? What, what species do we go after that? Redfish. I mean, you can bow fish redfish. Yes. Yeah. Only state in the United States that you can bow fish redfish. I feel I've never heard of that before, but yeah. I'm all about it. Drop it right on him. Might have to luck with that thing being loud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it a little rip. Oh wow, we are. No way. First no oh, way, bro. First, first cast. Mike, that's a large bass. Get him in, large bass. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Oh, oh my God, that was the first cast. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, my first. How cast. did you just do that? <laughs> that was the first cast. I saw, dude. I saw. Him you over saw there. him blow up. Hey, large. He's probably, he probably guarding fry. You saw fry. Yeah, right? yeah. There's fry. Yeah, Probably yeah, yeah. guarding fry. That is literally my first cast Are in you Louisiana. Serious? And I catch a freaking bass. Okay, we're on to the next thing now. I'm like, well, we got all ready and wound up. Wow, dude. All right, well, what's next? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe y'all want to go this? No. <laughs> I mean, you can do just about everything. Dude, you're, there's, there's no way that just happened. <laughs> it just happened, man. Get him. Got him? Bro, my, my net holes are too big. Shoot, the fish is too small. We'll try again. I see some little minnows by these rocks. Definitely not bass. So if I catch one, they're still over there. So my plan is to try to scoop up a bunch of weeds, get them caught in the weeds, get another 100 points. Oh, I got him. I got him this time. Bro, I got another fish. Ow, ow, something's stinging me. Ah, ant biting me. What is this? Fire ant. Oh, sh Oh, sh Hurts, dude. <laughs> hurts. It bite, my, it bite me through my pants. <laughs> what the? What the Ow. Wow. Fire ant. Are there fire ants here? Oh, yeah. That, that, that thing's hurt. <laughs> what? Dude, Are a you fire ant. on a nest? I guess. I was right there. Wait, so would you get something or no? Yeah, it's a fish. What is it? It's though? a fish. It's, it's a blue eel minnow, right? Yeah, I'll tell you how to figure this out. Watch this. Watch this. Extreme Philly fishing? No, no. I don't oh, know. I was going to say. I'm going to use Google app, but yeah, that might work. Okay, I might put him on his bait. Oh, oh, the killer fish. That could be it. It's, that, it's just not a bass, which is all that matters. So yeah. We're not going to catch one of these again. All right, well, let's take a picture just so we can uh, truly identify. I'm going to send to Leo, and he's going to get back to me. Yeah, as long as it's not a large Beautiful. Map, that's all that matters. Beautiful. I'm going to throw this on the hook. Go for it. Go for it. Hey, 200 points. John and Lojo, hope you guys are enjoying your time in the desert. They sent us to Arizona. Are you serious? Well, here we are in Phoenix. A lot of things happened, a lot of hiccups went on down the road to get this challenge started off with. By the way, welcome to the Guggen US Challenge. We thought we would do the boys dirty by some Louisiana. No oh, way, first cast! First cast! That's a Lord us! A place they're not familiar with. But they really won up this. Arizona, we flew into Phoenix. Super late, it's 8 p.m. All day I've been watching stories of Flair and One Rod catching fish. We are losing currently, and we just now got to our destination. Here's the thing too. I don't know where Lojo's at. I've got no idea. He's landed. He's been here for like four or five hours. I gotta get a hold of him. We gotta figure out if we're gonna get a rental car, or if we're gonna hitchhike, or maybe I have to sell my liver to increase the budget of this challenge, which by the way, is $1,000. Throughout the next couple days, we've got the opportunity to use $1,000 to spend however we want in order to catch numbers, species. This is the whole point. We're trying to collect all the species. So we're in kind of a weird spot right now where uh, I really don't know what lives in Arizona, I would assume probably a lot of bass, a lot of bluegill, and we have to basically catch more than them. Um, they're on the coast, which puts, at us, puts us at a, a huge disadvantage. I thought maybe they'd be, at least be nice and send us to California or something, so have the option of salt water, but we're, we're kind of landlocked. I'm gonna go pick up our bags and go find Lojo. This is not starting off good. We're ready. Let's get the hell out of here. We got the goods. We got some mullet. We got some weights. I think we already had some hooks. Okay. Spent 14 bucks, Mike. Yep. It's painful. Hurts. But the thing is, we already have two species, so we, you know we're we're definitely ahead right now. Still have plenty of money. Now we're ahead of the river. Head Catfishing. River. Mississippi River. Yep. Catfish. Mississippi River catfish. Stay tuned. Go. I don't see any water, but apparently we walk up that hill. We'll be at the uh, Mississippi River. Oh, I did have some weights. Brad, why do we buy? We Bro, you wasted our money. Can we return them? Oh my gosh, I literally have a whole stack of fours. I have the receipts in the bag. We'll return them. Yeah, we have to return them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, look, I got circle hooks. hooks. You came ready. 
Oh, Sir. those are perfect. Serve nice. hooks with four ounces. You even got bells, dude. You even got the bells. Listen, buddy, I came prepared. So what we've heard is there's a spillway nearby, which is always always good. Uh, and we're targeting catfish, channels, blues. I don't think there's maybe a ton of flatheads. Around me, flatheads like live bait, which we don't have. We've got that dead bait. Um, so we're gonna try to get something in a perfect world. Catch a fish, find a restaurant that'll cook it for us cheap. You know, I'm gonna give them like ten bucks or something to fry it up for us. We don't have to go buy oil and pots and pans and seasoning and whatnot. Um, and that'll be our dinner, so we don't have to spend any money there. That's that's really the goal there. But is that is this hook all right? Is that yeah yeah it's perfect. Is that yeah. perfect? Okay. Let's catch right. a fish. I don't know where we're going here, but this is a definitely an interesting track. Well, the water's high, so we're walking in the water a little bit, which isn't a big deal, but I don't think we can get close enough. So there's like a riprap bank that runs. We have to fish on the other side of the riprap. The water's high, you can't even see the riprap, let alone get close enough to cast over the top of it. So I'm not sure it's going to work. We're all fishing stuff in the rocks, catfish. Hold on one second. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I think I might have dropped my phone somewhere. Oh, this, <laughs> this guy. I mean, I'm assuming it's... So you mind calling it? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, before we move on, at least you caught it now. One in the bite. Nah, there's no way. I mean, it's in my pocket. Is it on the tailgate? I don't know where the phone went. Dude, I mean, like, usually it's always in my pocket. Shit. Oh, you got it. Hey, hey thanks, man. Good. Wait, what was it? In between the seats. Oh, appreciate that. <laughs> Woo! All right. That would have been bad. We got, yeah, all my, all my crypto passwords would have been gone. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like some, oh, no, there's. Oh, it's a gator! It's oh. an alligator! Oh my god, there's a gator right there! Oh, oh god, now I'm really scared to go crawl down in that. There's a, there's a literal out. That's an alligator, dude. Will they eat cut bait? Oh yeah. Oh god, don't say that. I don't want to catch <laughs> that sucker. Whoop. Oh wow, it's pretty deep over there. Like 25 feet? That's yeah, pretty deep. This gator friend's really shown a big interest in me. So I'm gonna try to barter with him and give him some mullet, which could go one of two ways. One, he sees me as the mullet plug and respects me and doesn't attack. Two, he comes after me once he is done eating the mullet and I ran out of mullet. I'm hoping it's kind of like, you know, so you break into someone's house, not that I've done that, and they've got an angry dog, you throw him a steak and then continue. I'll try to do the same thing. I'm gonna try to throw him some mullet, continue to fish, he leaves me alone. See what happens. Here he comes, here he comes. Ooh, you gotta work for it, buddy. Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, it's a good try. That was a good attempt. Let's try again. Let's see if he wants to try a little harder. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's like, just like a real mullet. Let's see how close we can get him. Don't bring him up here, you <laughs> <laughs> You scared him, bro. You'll be quiet. That action. Oh, he got it. He's in his mouth. Oh, he's in his mouth. The other one like another fish. Boy, oh, boy. Call John. There's another, there's another 100 point. Oh, he's, he's coming in. Oh, He's not letting go of the fish? Bro, hey buddy, Larry, get my net. <laughs> Larry, get my net. I ain't touching no net. Oh, this guy's pretty heavy. This guy's got some beef on him. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. There's like 10 of them. Clara, if I get him close, I want you to grab his tail. Are you out of your mind? Grab his tail, bro. I've got, I've got eight pound Google fluorocarb. This stuff's pretty strong. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> step on he's that not side. hooked. Step he's on the... that side so he goes right on the other side of okay. the rod. All right. Oh, oh he's death goes. rolling. There he's death goes. rolling. Oh, oh! Okay. There it's he goes. Oh. That was eight pound line. Eight pound Guggen floor carbon, bro. Oh my god. That's he, finally, no joke. he finally death rolled. And feel, feel the line. Feel how frayed. Look, that was in his teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, that's all the... it's all frayed. There he's right there. there he's he eating is. it. He's eating yep. it. You worked hard for that meal. Oh, Mike. Mike. Oh, no. Mike. Oh, no. Mike, we might need to get out of here. Look at <laughs> We got the whole fleet. Okay, there's like seven caters there. Go. Oh, there's another one coming over there. Okay, oh. I think it might be time to go, bro. What do you think? This is crazy to me. I've never seen this. Well, Mike, he brought there's about seven or eight gators. He's back. Yeah, he's right there. He wants to, I'm gonna throw him. In, I'm gonna throw him one more. You gotta make, you gotta make a wiggle, bro. I don't, you gotta land. Oh, land it on top of his head. He'll eat a reaction strike. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Oh! Told Lojo to meet us at the rent a car place at Phoenix International. He's nowhere to be found. He is somewhere else. Okay, he just texts us. He says, "I am 15 minutes away from y'all's location. I just sent him a pin, and apparently he's not near." This is not starting off good. Let's go get a car before these places close. Oh, we're, at, yeah. we're actually, I don't know if this will help, but we're filming a, like a, you ever seen The Amazing Race? Huh? You ever seen The Amazing Race? 
right. like the sh we're filming something like that and uh. we're trying to like I got a thousand dollars I need to keep it within the budget like what do you think it's gonna cost me tonight sure. I'm gonna call the manager and... okay cool yeah man thank you there he is <laughs> there you are it's good to see you drivers, all right it's good to see you <laughs> uh, no protection I made it Okay, yeah, bring it back full, right? Yeah, super. Yeah. There you go. Bring it back full. Right. This was the longest and strangest journey that has ever brought me and John together, I can assure you of that. I actually got here like uh, 12 hours ago, <laughs> so this is the first friendly faces I've seen in a very long time. It's been uh, quite a ride. Not to mention the Uber rides. I've had two Uber drivers today. And they've both been bad for different reasons. But the most recent guy was driving like a maniac. So whenever he stopped, I just jumped out of the car. I mean, I didn't even know where I was at the airport. I just got out because his driving skills were that bad. And then I realized I was still 20 minutes away from John somehow. But by God, we're here now. I think we found our car. It's not quite the fishing mobile we're after, but she gets good gas and she's kind of sexy, Ella. So we got two gallons of water, yep. six meals of ramen. Yes. Two Slim Jims, two packs of chips. Total? 30.83. 30? Inflation, baby. God, man, that darn inflation gets you. 15 bucks a pop? I feel like we could have went to <laughs> any restaurant and did the... <laughs> Mike, we definitely just got screwed. $15? You can get a steak dinner and Applebee's for that. Hey, we don't have time, though. We gotta get on the water. We got fish to catch. Is that really... <laughs> So now we're taking a, a knife and cutting. I've never seen this before. Look at that. Cutting, cutting the wires. Cutting them open. Exposing them. Then you're just going to wrap them around the terminal. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. oh my God. I got a stingray. Yeah, rip, rip, rip my guy Steve. We're this avenging is... Steve Irwin right now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, f you. <laughs> I love Steve Irwin. That thing is crazy. Are those rare? Are, are we in freshwater or what? What this are we in? This is kind of brackish. Bra is that yeah. kind of rare or not oh, really? No. So this oh, thing can no. really just like hurt you bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. that, can, that thing can mess you up. Rip my guy Steve. Dude. What's any of that? What's any of John to pick of that, bro? Hey, yeah, do you think John will accept that or no? Hey, it's a fish. That's a fish species. That's a that's a fish. That's a fish in my that's opinion. A fish. Yeah, hold that shot up fish. to your face. Hold Mike, up. shut up, Mike. Right. I ain't hold <laughs> to my face. <laughs> I can't believe I shot a stingray. What in the hell? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. starting off with a stingray. And of course, it happens right when I was reloading my arrow. I told we, you it happened. We saw something good right you. when I was reloading my arrow. I said, because Mike's like, should I shoot the little mole? I'm like, yeah, you can't. So the second you start goofing off, something cool happens. That's what happened. That's why we have two shooters. Well, that's a fish. Yeah. you, All John. Right. Channel catfish, largemouth bass, sunfish, and rainbow, rainbow trout. trout. You know, I bet my left nut there's absolutely zero opportunities <laughs> yes. to catch rainbow trout, especially since it's going to be 100 degrees tomorrow. Right. But In Phoenix, Arizona. Um, also, too, at one point, I think we should probably be safe doing this at night. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, I mean, we got two big, tough guys here. One and a half tough guys you got here. Two big <laughs> tough guys. You got two big strapping <laughs> fine gentlemen here. It, surely no one will will step on us. We're gonna try to give it a dangle here, folks. Community park, in Phoenix, Arizona, in the middle of the literal middle of the night. We gotta we gotta make up for lost ground. The boys have That's shot true. us. They've killed a stingray. They caught a bass. I don't know what else they caught. They caught. Dude, like they're a, hammering us on the budget too right now. We're getting our. I know, they use the resources. Time. I'm not creative. You know, okay, I will say too, the reason why we had to rent a car is because everything is so spread out. Yeah. Like there's like one big lake and a couple ponds around here, like period. Mm. 
This is one. It's public. We're gonna try it out. Try not to get shanked. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly, dude. Really. Gonna try to be safe. If we can get like a bass or a bluegill out of Something, here, dude. That'd this be is perfect. even just a fish. I agree. Luckily, we came prepared. We got travel rods. We got two casting, two spinning, all two piece. Perfect for traveling scenarios. This is a U.S. travel challenge, so gotta have the goods. And also on top of that, got the new Guggen tackle bags, which fit so nicely in the plane today. Did you carry yours on? Dude, I did. Yeah. I checked mine just to be just to be safe because. I've got hooks in here and stuff like that, but you can carry these on. They're available, link down below. If you're gonna do a trip like this, if you're going to Florida or something like that and wanna do a bit of dangling, this is all you need. Yo, hit me in the arm! Is it get, was it Gither Shad? Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Gither Shad. Gither Shad, baby! How's your points? Hey! We caught it. It's in his hey, hand. He I caught, caught it. it. I caught it. We're counting it. We're counting. We're counting right. it. Hey, little guy. Thank you. Oh, there, dude. It's so freaking nasty. It's been a long day. We uh, ended with five species. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, three of which we, two of which we caught with a rod and reel. One shot with a bow. Two fell in our lap, and we're gonna take <laughs> it where we can get it. All right. Uh, we ended up spending what thirty-seven. I think dollars on dinner, thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars yeah, on dinner, which is BS. All right, <laughs> for freaking ramen. Now I will say, I didn't eat all my ramen. I didn't even touch the jerky. I ate maybe half the bag of chips. So I'm gonna say I got two meals out of mine. You maybe got close to two meals. You ate three things ramen, which is very impressive, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, all but that food's gone. Maybe like uh, maybe like two and a half, three. It's probably three meals worth. So maybe like ten bucks a meal. Still insane for gas station ramen. Uh, and we're headed off the water now. I think we are gonna break down and get a motel um, just so we can get a good night's rest, get a good shower in, uh, get ready for tomorrow. So I think tomorrow's plan, we don't have one, but I, we're gonna try hey. saltwater fishing. Yeah. So I'm not sure uh, what what these guys have going on here, Andrew and Charles, uh, if, they, if they're free, I think, Charles, I think he has his final exam tomorrow. Yeah, so, he's not free. So I probably shouldn't, he probably should. He should probably do that. School, yeah. school, stay in school. Um, but we'll talk to these guys. Maybe they know a guy that could take us out. I really think we got to get on the saltwater grind. Like today was super fun. Good. We established a good base. We got five fish. Uh, I think the other team hasn't even wet a line yet. Correct. But like I said, we're gonna do just 48 hours, so we'll end before they end. So it'll be fair. Okay. I want to hear it in the comments. Uh, but we got to get in salt water tomorrow. That's it. Whether it's inshore, offshore, salt water is gonna have the most species. So I think that's the plan tomorrow. Go get a hotel. Tonight, cheapest motel, if we don't come home with anything we didn't get here with, and uh, hope we catch some fish. Stay tuned. The urban landscape is coming to life right now. <laughs> Lots of noises. I'm waiting to hear a gunshot, honestly. Like, no joke. <laughs> the urban landscape. <laughs> yeah, dude, it is. It's man. really come to life. <laughs> There's noise. I think this place, I can't tell. It's like it's the nicest park I've ever seen. And then at the same time, somehow the water just doesn't look healthy. I can't even explain it. There's a smell to the air that's not great. The water's kind of like milky. I can't tell whether it's stained or clear. Just doesn't seem like great fish habitat. Maybe that's just how things look in Arizona. Maybe this is just what desert fishing is. I don't know. If you don't get bit in between that 15 minute time period, we're out of here. When a man comes back from the bushes wearing no socks, when he had socks on prior to that, it just um, makes you wonder. There's questions that follow, but you know, I don't think I need to expand on it any more than that. We're gonna uh, pack things up here, go find a hotel for tonight, try not to break the budget, and then figure out, figure out a game plan for tomorrow because uh, it is zero to presumably five or six. We, we can do better than this. We're way better than that. We're better than this. Better than this. Yeah. All right, we'll meet Thank you guys at the hotel. So we're waiting on our ride. We stayed at, last night we stayed at the Comfort Inn. Had free continental breakfast. I ate an absurd amount. Waffles, uh, bagels, eggs, sausage, two cups of coffee, some apple juice. I loaded up. I, my plan is to not really try to eat most of the rest of the day. Save us a little bit of, save us a little bit of cash. Um, 
but right now we're waiting on Tyler. So Tyler is who picked us up from the airport. You do well with him! him. Was that was him. him. He, was he, he, he told us! He told us! But last night we were with Charlie and Drew, and they're busy today. Maybe could take us out inshore fishing tomorrow. Um, but then today they couldn't take us out, and so Tyler actually hit me up last night and he's like, What do you guys have? What do you guys do tomorrow? Do you have plans? Do you need any help? Whatever. And I was like, Yeah, we don't really have any plans. Uh, so Tyler's gonna come pick us up from here. I'm hoping we can go to Walmart, it's down the street. Maybe get some live night crawlers, they're not super expensive. Um, and then maybe some chicken livers or maybe some gizzards or some chicken breasts of some sort, some catfish bait. We gotta get some catfish today. Today's objective is fresh water. We're not gonna probably touch salt water, maybe this evening if we just crush all this, the fresh water out the gate. Um, but we're going after bluegills, different kinds of sunfish, maybe some crappies and some catfish, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we can basically check all the boxes for like the most obvious freshwater fish around here. Then tomorrow, go out on the ocean and catch a bunch of salt water. So you're going for five fresh today, yep. and then at least, hopefully, five salt tomorrow. Yep. So that'd be 15 species. Like yes, that's sir. gonna be pretty tough for the boys in the desert to beat. So, stay tuned. Good morning. It's day number two of the Guggen US Challenge. We spent, what, $100 on a hotel room last night? We are $438 <laughs> and some change deep into this trip, and we've got nothing to show for it, but today's a new day, it's 8 a.m. We got some pretty good local knowledge from a guy that we met at the pond last night, and we're gonna see if we can at least do the easy stuff, catch like a sucker, a bluegill, a freaking bass. It's Something. not like, it's not like Something. either of us have never caught a bass before. So, yeah. anyway, we're uh, we're pretty much geared up. The creek that we're going to is Salt Creek or Salt River. It's literally ten minutes down the road. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna move around Phoenix, and if Phoenix is a bus, we're gonna have to make our way like two hours to some more water. That's the problem yeah. with Phoenix. Is water's all spread out. So yeah. or I guess it's the problem with Arizona in general. Is everything's so vastly spread out. Um, I do have good news. Check this out. Well, I know we've already absolutely blew through half the budget, um, and tomorrow. Today we're probably not gonna be able to eat any food, but I did find this when I picked up oh, the car. Oh, yeah. No way. I know, dude. Scrap food. Scrap food, baby. Oh, no, let's, let's go. Clean stuff. We have to get out of the truck. <laughs> oh, Max. Dude. Barbecue flavor. Max oh. barbecue. Uh... Dude, there's definitely enough in there for all of us too. Like for at least one meal. Try. Oh boy. It's breakfast of champions, man. I'll leave one with you. Hopefully it's laced with PCP. Yeah, probably. There. I'm full, dude. We're, we're fed. No money spent on breakfast. Whoever this was, we're leaving it back for you. Maybe they just forgot it. Maybe they're coming back. But thank you for the thought, though. I cannot believe we, we just eat, we ate straight street pork rinds just now. Everything's gonna get better from here, though. Today. I really hope so. Yeah, that guy agrees. All right, <laughs> <laughs> let's head to the water. <laughs> Spot of the day. That's so pond. It's not what I thought we'd be fishing, but I, I guess maybe they had a little more water than I thought. And this didn't show up on the map, but it's a little, little dirty pond. There's some creeks too that run through here. It looks pretty. This is complete polar opposite we fished yesterday. So um, I'm banking on three fish species here, and then we dip. We head west or something. We just got to the lake here. This is a big lake. It's in, it's in the. It's in a gated neighborhood. He's got the he's got the hook. Your parents live here. Yeah. yeah. So, you, so you know this like like the back of your hand. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. Catfish time, baby. I haven't caught a cat. I don't even know if I caught a catfish this year yet. Do a nice gentle lob. Off we go. Perfect. All right, boys. We're at the dock right now. Googan Googie from Walmart. With a little, no weight, just a little bobber. I'll dro I like dropping them in these little corners right here. So this corner, that corner. I mean, they even they have a fish feeder out here. I mean, I feel like we're almost cheating. We're not though. We feel like we are. All right, drop them down. Let's see. I can still see my worm. Barely. Oh wait, hang on. They're right there. Hang on. I see him. I see him. I see him. They're right here in the corner. Right here. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Look at that. Let's go. Little bluegill. Sheesh. Mike. Mike. We got one. And we got a bluegill. Look at that. <laughs> Species number six, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go. If there were some big flatties in here, I'd just throw a circle hook through this bad boy. But I don't think there are any. So, number six. I saw a couple of them. 
I, what I'm hoping for is there's multiple species of bluegill. So I'm talking that was just a normal bluegill. Not a pumpkin seed, not a red ear. I'm sure there's other ones. I'm not like the most educated in you know, multi-species as far as uh, sunfish go. But I, that's just a normal bluegill. I know what those look like. So see if we can get, see if we can get another one. Maybe it'll be a little bit different. Huh? What do you say? Fish, fish bite, bite flare, catfish rod. Catfish rod got hit. Oh God, something's, oh, something's on the cat rod. Catfish on, catfish on, catfish on flare, catfish on. Oh, it's a hot dog, bro. Catfish on, it's big, it's a big one, dude. Oh. <laughs> Is that my cat rod? That's your cat rod. You no. want it? You want it? No, 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 you got it. You got it. Go oh, ahead. No, you got it. Bro, you hate the hot dog. Dude. He's hot the wiener. No way. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh, it's coming in. Right into us. Here we go. It's a turtle. What? No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's a snapper. A it's a snapper. Where? Let's you baby handle that thing. No, I'm not touching <laughs> it. It's a snapping turtle. What do we do with it? Or some kind of turtle, I should say. Oh wait, no, it's not snapper. Here, that, you hold it. Sasha? I'll, I'll grab the fish. I'll grab the turtle. <laughs> I I Instead of picked a jod. I snagged. You snagged the little <laughs> bell right yeah. there. Look, look. Oh, we can get them. Wait, what are the odds of that? Do you have needle nose? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, we can get go, them. Uh, go to the side pocket, left side pocket. I think I got pliers in my bag. Wait, guys, we're about to save this turtle. Someone hooked it before, and our line caught the hook that's currently in his mouth. Bro, what are the odds of that? Like one out of a million? Yeah, he's not hooked at all. That's freaking nuts. Right, yeah, you got that. Here you go, bro. Yeah, get that hook out for him. Here. Oh, yes, that sir. Off, which is fine. Yeah. It's better yeah, than it was. That's... Dude, it went through the eyelet. Look at this. <laughs> My line went through the eyelet of what he was hooked on. Look. How is that possible? I, I, have not, I, can, I don't That's even know. That's a one in a trillion. Bro, dude. we got to buy some lottery tickets today. We got to. So I'm gonna send this to John. <laughs> send a picture to John. Tell him species number 69. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Personal best soft shell turtle, guys. Let's go ahead and let him go. We'll watch him uh, crawl back in there. See ya, buddy. Off he goes! Bro, I'll tell you guys what. If that turtle was against the hair, I think he's taking that dub for sure. Who thinks of that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even catch a bluegill. This is an embarrassing display. <clears throat> Resorting to making a fish trap out of trash, which at least we're not having to spend any money, so. Yeah, there's lots of trash around here. There's plenty of trash. I'm gonna yeah. put a couple power bait pellets in there. There's some really tiny fish hanging out on the edge of the, this grass. I know it's not technically... It's catching. It's sporting, though, because this is a fish trap, so. Right. Yeah, let's see if that'll do the trick. Oh, yeah, y'all see it. Yep, y'all see it. Go on in there. Checking it out. Oh yeah, they're all over. They're trying to, they smell that power bait. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, one just went through, I think. I'm gonna let a few go all the way into that trap before I try to get it. Oh yeah, baby. Right, let's go, let's baby. freaking go. Species number one. I don't know what that is. Uh, dude, is this baby catfish? Look at these and tell me that's not a baby like, is there multiple? where it's like a sucker. I don't know. It just looks, the body looks like, Look at that. Oh, it's some sort of, it's like a killifish. It's a gila top minnow. 90% sure. Minnow? Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Gila top minnow. So he's native to the this river. Cool. Nice. You native eat species? Yeah, I mean, catch and cook. We have to I save, we have to save uh, on resources, you know. Can we get a little filet off this guy? I was thinking whole. Ah, yeah, yeah. just one bite We can go back deal. to that. Um, that uh, parking lot and grab some of those pork rinds. Yeah, Yo. good call. Well, he's a cutie. Yeah, you know, he's uh, he's got a little gut on him. I mean, he's been eating. Yeah, he's chubby. That man is chubbed up. Nice first fish. Hey, man. <laughs> nice Thanks. first fish. Actually, nice first two fish at once. I was going to try to lip him. I just don't know if it's in the cards. <laughs> All right, well, we've confirmed him. We're going to send him back to the abyss to go do whatever fish do. Well, I would say that's uh, mission half accomplished. Shout out to Lojo for putting in the first fish. We are on the board. How many points is that for Gila us? Gila top minnow. That is one singular point. Because one I point. guess it was this, probably the same species. Yeah, most Twice. likely. Um, if you would have told me that that would have been our first fish of the trip, I would have not believed you. I thought for sure we would have caught a bluegill or a bass, but yeah. 
yeah, I guess Arizona's really, uh, really kicking our teeth, and it's okay. But we're, we're in the game, though. We're in the game. We're officially it, in the game. It's no longer zero. We're gonna go head off the spot because we can't catch anything else. Go grab a bite to eat, maybe some, uh, I don't know, beef jerky, ramen noodles, something really cheap. That's right. What's really cheap that we could buy? Food-wise? Yeah. Uh, a loaf of bread. It fills up. Yeah. <laughs> Just eat bread. Just eat bread. And we could catch fish with the bread, too. So that's, that's actually true. not we a terrible get, We idea. should honestly get some other stuff to catch. I, I don't think we were 100% well-equipped for this mission. I think getting some bread, maybe some corn to catch yeah. some bottom fish is what we're going to need for the rest of this journey. But let's go uh, regroup. Get you guys back in the car. This was uh, this is quite eye-opening. We've got a long, long challenge set ahead of us. Oh, I think. Hey, is this pumpkin? No. Or, is that a big I, red ear, long ear. Is this long ear? Red ear? Oh yeah, no, no, no. That's yeah. That's something. That points. That's something. Yeah. <laughs> Take a something? picture of it. All that's right. Not a normal bluegill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a normal bluegill. All right, flares rod. We got to do a little species ID, guys, but uh, this is clearly another species of bluegill. We might have to consult the uh, species expert. Little EPF. All right, got a picture. 100 points. How many points is that today? 200. That's 200 points today. 700 total. Nice. The old Guggen worm right there, slaying him. This guy's big enough to lip. He's running with it right now. Take him. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, he's on. He's oh, on. he's on. He's okay. Oh, oh my no, God! Oh, no, it's a gar. Oh, the gar. No, we can't. Oh my God. That's the problem. That's why I'm not hooking him. That's a gar. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Oh my god, if we would have landed the gar, dude. That would have been sick. Oh, that's why, that's why we keep getting hit. That was a gar. Hey, oh. let's drive it again. Oh. Sheesh, there's another one of those. Uh... Hang on, Mike. Mike, this doesn't have a red ear. But it's, it's, not, it's not a bluegill. We need a picture? Yeah. This might just be a pumpkin seed. That's not a normal bluegill. It's got a big mouth on it. It's got those spots on it. But it, and maybe it's maybe it is a pumpkin seed in a red ear, but it doesn't have a red ear. But that's not a traditional bluegill. Bro. Look how big that mouth is. Yeah, that, this guy got to be something different. See those spots on his yeah. like on his side right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a picture of that. Bro, we got some different species going on for sure. I want to say that's another one. We're gonna have to send it or Google it. Yep, got a oh, perfect pick. So we, what we need to decide, all you got to ask Leo is. Is this different than the other one? Oh, that's all you have to ask him. I know that's all I gotta ask him, but he's gonna give us not only the name, he's gonna give us a scientific name the too. Scientific. He's gonna give us everything. So you can see it's it doesn't have that red ear that Mike's had. That's right. So it's gotta be different, and it's got a real big mouth and all these spots right here, which is not traditional bluegill. So I, I'm almost positive it's something. We will confirm it with Leo, but I'm pretty sure that was species number eight. Um, I think we're gonna go to, go to a, try to go to a canal, and uh, we've got. The cast net, try to find somewhere with a little less grass. We might use, it, use the cast net. Um, find some type of like creek chubs of some sort, just some different species. But three sunfish species, super clutch. And is that it? I got a lot of bass, but we, we had yeah, bass. Yeah. Already. So three sunfish species, I think is what we ended with on this, which is good. You go to one location, catch three species, that's a huge dub in my opinion. So, Absolutely. Anyways, we're going to get packed up and head to a canal. Stay tuned. Yeah. Big, big bag, it'll last us probably at least for the rest of the day between the three of us. $46 and 49 cents. So Not too bad. Not too bad. Bread was the cheapest thing, 88 cents. And what's funny is if we really had to, that would probably tie us over for the entire week. It would keep us alive. Yeah, but if we kept doing it every week, it would surely kill us. So temporarily yeah. keep us alive. So here's what we have been cooking up. We uh, went into Walmart and kind of went back and forth and thought, how can we make this better? If we can't get the numbers of the species. Let's try to get something unique. I've been here before. I've actually been to Phoenix. Uh, it was a lot better experience than this fishing wise, but after we fished Phoenix, we went up to Flagstaff. Flagstaff is just north of here. It's a lot cooler. There's more elevation. There's pine trees. And there's the opportunity to catch a pike. Lojo's well, never caught a pike. Never. There is no pike in Louisiana. So at the very least, we'd catch a fish. Have that the, they can't catch. Yes, yeah. have a chance of catching fish they can't catch. And then maybe along the way, catch like a bluegill or something. We'll go fish Flagstaff absolutely kill ourselves driving almost three hours there from where we're at now and then three hours west <laughs> to Havasu. Havasu is a good destination because it's got everything. It's got catfish, carp, uh, bluegill, bass, smallmouth. I think it might even have striper if not Lake Mead is right there. Okay. We go catch striper there. All oh, stripers dude. So we're gonna have a whole day just doing that. <sighs> yeah. You know so but the only problem is we're gonna hunt, we're gonna get in late. It's gonna yeah. be a lot of driving but I mean this is not happening. What did you just say? Yeah. Don't leave fish to find fish. We're not leaving any fish, so we no, might as well leave. That's right. So, yep. Peace out, Phoenix. Thanks for uh, the swamp ass and uh, absolutely no <laughs> the great fish memories. slime. Yeah, the great memories and no fish slime in my hands.
Watch this, man. Check this out, Flair. Tell me if you've ever seen a hook this small. Flair, I want you to tie this on with a little piece of Guggen worm and see what kind of species you catch. Wow. Take that. Take one of those. Wow. Tie that on. Tie that on. Okay. <laughs> what size hooks would you say this is? I couldn't even tell you. That's tiny. <laughs> like size 20, bro. Oh, I got it! I got it, Flair! Where, yeah, Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, baby! What is it? Hold it! Oh. oh. What is it? Yo, it's a new... That's a new species. That's a new species. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what it is. How'd you catch that, dude? <laughs> yeah, that's another one. That's number, uh, that's number nine. Yes, sir. I don't know what it is. Yeah, let me snap a pic of it. Yeah, that's the exact fish that we wanted right In case here. we get a couple more that look similar. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm guessing some type of killer fish, but we're gonna we're gonna check later. See ya. I got him. I think it's the same one. Look at that, bro. Have you ever seen someone catch a fish this small before? Oh, wait, flare, flare. Look at it. Is it different? It's spotted. This one's spotted. Picture, picture. Spotted. That's different. Yeah, that's a different. This fish. one's different. Yeah, that's a different Let's fish. go. That's a hundred points, baby. We are packing up, ladies and gentlemen. We uh, we got some fish. We got Mike, shout out to Mike for getting uh, two tiny little species um, here. So we got two here and we got three at the other place. We got five at this location because this creek is just right where the pond was. So really good spot. Tyler's got the juice. Um, he's got to take off here in a couple hours. So I think what we're going to do is maybe pack up, head to the city. I want to see what down, I don't know if it's downtown New Orleans, but basically the city park where we started this adventure there's another place nearby you know we want something that you know when Tyler has to go he's got class he has to go to we want to be able to possibly just walk from place to place we always hop in an uber um, but we want to basically get a spot where we can fish for a while try different things we still haven't caught a catfish still haven't caught a crappie still haven't caught a pickerel you know there's a lot of normal fish we haven't caught yet and that was today's objective was to get all of the normal freshwater species off the table so tomorrow we can focus all on saltwater and really, really hammer it home. Put that nail in that coffin for them Arizona boys. So anyways, we're gonna load up, head to the city, hopefully find a big one, stay tuned. Holy it got How is it that three hours ago, it was a hundred and something degrees, yeah. we traveled two and a half hours north to Flagstaff and it is 60 something. 65, it's cool, it's chilly right now. What are we after today? I think this is, this is the pike spot, right? This is the pike zone. We're, yeah. we're after, it was the Hail Mary. Yeah. 90 yard pass, and we're just gonna try to catch one species out here. If we can make it happen, maybe we'll go into town and find some little pond. If not, straight to Havasu. That's Basically, right. Basically, we're looking at a five hour, five and a half hour driving day, and maybe one fish. Or two yeah, fish, because you just did, for you a got the fish. Yeah. 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 Okay. God, this wind's ripping too, by the way. Challenge. You only said it's broken. The one. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go. Fish number two. We got tons of catfish, we got bass, we got redfish, we got some random little species. This is the place to be. Oh yeah. Right. Pickle trout. Let's do it. Oh, it's game time. Let's do it. We're gonna get a fish. Flair has not fished salt water in a couple years. We're getting him on one, I'm getting some. I think it's a matter of 10, 15 minutes, we'll probably get a catfish bite. Hopefully we get some other cool stuff too. Yeah, he's hitting it. Oh, he's hitting it. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh, I got him. Oh yeah. I got something. Get him in. Get him in. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Hey, what's up? Let's go. Wait, is that a channel? It's oh, a channel cat. Let's go. Channel that means we can still get a blue. Let's go, let's buddy. Go, baby. Yes. That one's got a little belly on him, huh? A little channel. Look at that. We downsized the hooks. We're getting robbed. That's all it took right there, baby. Sheesh. This is an interesting little lake. We uh, we fished here, Perrick and I fished here two years ago and never stopped too. And uh, it's only a two hour drive away from where we were at. Where we were at obviously wasn't productive, so I was thinking let's, let's try here. It's a unique lake because it's dirty, it's high elevation, and it's got a lot of pike. It's got perch, bluegill, no largemouth. There, there are some in here, but it's really uncommon. The main fish species to catch in here is pike, which is seemingly really, really weird for Arizona, but we're throwing big bladed jigs with saucy swimmers and uh, see if we can make it happen. It's gonna be tough, it's not gonna be easy, but if we can catch one, we'll make the day. There we go. Got one. Got one. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Just when we were about to lose hope. Yeah, we were. Yes, we got one. <laughs> He, dude, he bit right at my feet too. Nice. That was wild. Well, this is a pretty sickly looking one, but 
Nice. We did it, man. It was it was worth it all was worth the two hour drive. It the was. Dude, I want to say this is a little musky. Cause look at the dots on its its uh, fins. When I saw its head, I thought it looked like a musky. It, it it's got but... the shape it's got the shape of a pipe, but it literally looks so much like a musky. I think I'm just tripping. It's been a long day. Oh, oh sorry. sorry buddy. But the dots on its uh, its fins leave me to believe it could be a musky, but it, the the green and it, it looks like a pike. I don't know. It's been a while since I caught one of these little dudes. Still so awesome. We're gonna call it a. I don't know, I'll look it up afterwards, but I'm pretty sure it's a pike. I don't think they put musky in here, so interesting wow. little catch. Very sickly, yeah. quite depressing looking fish. <laughs> he that's number good. two, and this is one that they're not going to catch. That's true. So that's all Back. that matters. Right. Oh, see you later, buddy. There you go. If it was a pike, it was a very different looking pike. I mean, we are in Arizona. I don't believe they're native here, and if they are, that was a, an interesting looking one. We did it though, man. It was Pretty worth the two and a half hour drive. That's two species down. We caught a guppy and a pike. Pretty ridiculous. Arizona is a weird state. Man. Yeah, we're doing weird. some weird stuff in this challenge Absolutely. right now. <laughs> yeah, as much as I want, I want to keep fishing and catching a pike, especially like a nice one. I think yeah. we need to leave. Yeah. And I don't know. What, oh, the other thing though is, where do we go? Do we do we trek in town to see there's another? I don't know what else is in. Here. I know. I think this is kind of one of the bigger fisheries here in Flagstaff. We we'll have to see if there's like a small pond or something. something but we might could check something off the list, you know, what before was that. Dude, was that a fish? I don't know. I that kinda, was crazy. I kind of got yoinked right yeah, there. Yeah, you did get yoinked. Right in front of us, kind of like your bite was. Hmm. Well, oh, man. Jeez. I was big. I was, the big concern was coming all this way and then just like not catching anything, and then having to drive another three hours, still with zero, or I guess one fish all the way to Havasu. I keep, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting about your, your little guy. <laughs> I don't hey. want to. I don't want to downplay Lojo's uh, <laughs> master catch there, but. Yeah, okay, well, I think we split, right? I think we move on. Yeah, yeah. we're done. Move huh. on. Let's get out of here. Got one, got one. Let's go. I don't know. Oh, dude, that's a, uh, it's, it's a, it's one, of, it's a bluegill, but it's a just, it's like a pumpkin something. We got enough freshwater species. Sunfish. Super cool color though. Look at that guy. <laughs> so that's what, four sunfish species in a day? Yes, sir. Wow. I don't know where the saltwater fish are, but it don't matter. Species are species at this point. And that thing, I think it's a red breast. I don't know. Either way, we ain't caught one before, so we'll take it. He's definitely dead. So. <laughs> he definitely did. Yeah, he, him. Swall he swallowed it. Alright. Hey, he's got like the long ear. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Wait, this might be. Yeah. Long ear, red breasted. Hmm. I think that's, not, that, that might have been on the list. Yeah, well, he's actually not dead yet, but we're using him for bait, so. Oh, oh, it's bigger. Bro, oh, sh It's big. Bro, this one's big. This is big. This ain't, this ain't no bluegill. This ain't no bluegill, boys. Oh, this, it freaking smashed me. What is this? Oh, it's that, it's that. I think, it's, I think it might be a blue catfish. I think it might be a blue. Yeah, we got him. I'm using light line here. We don't want to. We don't want to lose any fish. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's a catfish. I don't know what kind it is yet. All right, we're gonna flip him up. Get him. Ah, ah. Is, that, is that blue channel? I got spine. I think it's blue. It's bad spot Another species. These guys will absolutely mess you up. I'm gonna let Flair touch them. But if you touch these, these are actual barbed spines and they're filled with poison. It won't kill you, but it will hurt like heck. I'm gonna let Flair check this guy out. Oh, this guy's got, look at him. He's got parasites all up in him. Nasty looking fella. It has a straight anal fin, dude. It is that fish. That is your fish. <laughs> hold, hold it up. Tell me that's not your fish. Ow! It's the same color. Look the chain. Look at the color of the channel. Mine was yeah. yellow like that. Yeah. Look at the. Look at the tail. See yeah. how forked it is. Yeah. Dude, that no. That's a, that is the top fish right that's there. <laughs> that's a blue. We're chalking up as a blue. Argue with me. <laughs> we, we, we oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's a blue, dude. It a hundred thousand percent. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's tough to tell though. No, it's a blue. All right, we're gonna let it go.
Yes, it's a blue. Go ahead. It's All right, a blue. we got a picture. We'll we're, get we're it, we're, No, it's a blue. Thousand percent. <laughs> Thousand percent. All right, little blue. Dude, they are feisty. Well, there's not. This has been the general theme here in Arizona, but there's not a whole lot of water. Even far up north, where you've got a little bit more precipitation, not much. That lake was good though. We got one fish. Here's a little pond. There's a little pond that just outside of Flagstaff that looks pretty good. It does look like it's heavily heavily popular with anglers, but uh, there's yeah. trout in here. There's bass. There's bluegill, and there's catfish. We could do some mega damage in this place. Just got Please. bit. I just got bit. Dude. Dude. Oh, there he is. Did you see that bite? I just got yes. bit again. Yeah. Oh my god. I just went slack. I think he might have it. I said that. Let's go, baby. We need this trout. That's a trout, baby. We're on. We're on, baby. It's a big one. It's a big one, too. What is it? It's a trout. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. We did it, dude. Let's go. We did it. Let me wet my hands. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That right there is an Arizona stocked rainbow. What a beauty. What a freaking beauty. <laughs> what a beauty. <laughs> That's what's worth, up, dude. Put it there. One whole point. Oh, like so we it. got two, man. We came here for one species. We got two. This guy has swallowed the hook, and there's absolutely no point in releasing them because he has a stock trout. So we're going to give them over uh, to another fellow angler. Everyone out here is trout fishing. Yeah, and, and they're all the keeping them, home. too. A lot of them are keeping them. So. Yep, so. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's three fish, baby. That's three fish. Well, we would stick around longer and try to catch a bass, but apparently there was a bass kill here. So there's, it's just trout, like literally just trout in this pond. So that, that part kind of sucks, but hey, we got what we came here for, and that is a bite. Said to have a suit, what do you say? Let's send it. Let's send it. There you go. For five bucks, or for 22 bucks, you can get five gallons of gas. Must be on sale. <laughs> Okay, well, we are Havasu bound. Well, ladies and gentlemen, final day. We're back with our boy. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. How was yesterday? Did you pass your test? Uh, that was probably one of the hardest exams I've taken in my life. Oh, no, that's not that's not good. So, so you passed or you know? Uh, yeah, I passed. Oh. It was only 10 questions, but it was like, I had like five or six parts each one. Oh, okay, so yeah, like 50 it, questions. Yeah, and you had to get the first answer to find the second answer. You had to keep using that same answer. To... Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah I like those. Brutal, yeah. yeah, so anyways, we're back. We are ready to tackle some salt water. Mike and I have been beating up the freshwater species in Louisiana. Have not, we haven't caught a single saltwater fish, have we? That's right. No, we have So that's not. all we're doing today. We're going inshore. And where are we, where are we going? So we are going to the fishing capital of the world, Venice, Louisiana. Venice, Louisiana, which is uh, an hour or two from here. Yeah, about an hour and 20 minutes. From here. Hour and 20 minutes from here. So we got up. It's four in the morning. Um, this is it. This is, we have until the end of the day. We're actually so confident, believe it or not, that we rebooked some of our flights to leave <laughs> a little early because we didn't want to stay because we can't fish tomorrow. So it's like, well, we might as well go home and get some stuff done. So we're actually calling it quits fishing probably about noon. Four hours early, Mike. Yeah. That's how confident Mike is. Oh yeah, guys, we got up early today for one reason. These fish, they bite early. Not gonna be here for a long time, but we're here for a good time. Let's get them. Good morning. Welcome to day number two and a half, I believe. Yeah. Day two and a half on the U.S. Guggen Challenge. We woke up uh, right on the water's edge this morning. Last night we decided to do. Something maybe we shouldn't, but we're already down pretty bad. Figured yeah. we'd spend a few extra coin on a hotel. Not because it's a nice hotel, but because it is literally right in front of the water. We are at Lake Havasu right now, a lake that I've only fished like once. And when I came here, I was amazed. Water like the Bahamas fish, so bigger than you can even imagine. And the cool thing about this place is it's got just about every species that we need to catch in order to make some sort of effort to right. come back. Um, so we spent about $150 last night, Lojo and I did on this hotel and like literally you walk outside and boom yeah there's the water you can't argue with this no right? and what's nice about this is it cuts down on time it's yep. 8 a.m we slept in a little bit but we're ready the goal is to catch carp bluegill crappie sunfish freaking maybe a bass do you think maybe we could do that maybe we might be able to manage a large mouth bass today maybe <laughs> anyway we uh we don't know what the boys have i'm guessing probably 10 12 species so we have a, a workout cut out for us but let's make the most of it day number two starts now we're loading up the boat. We're, we're pretty close, right? Yeah, we're about 
five minutes away from the marina. Five minutes away. Apparently some bomb breakfast burritos too, which we're <laughs> we're going for, boys. We're feeling so confident. Like we started out this mission, we're like, guys, gas station ramen, gallon of water, don't you know, ration it, right? Like survival. We're chilling now. We might even go get a ribeye later. That's, <laughs> no, probably not gonna do that. But breakfast burritos for sure. Maybe a little bit of caffeine. We should be good. Head out in the water soon. Hopefully, we're gonna catch a bunch of species. Stay tuned. We made it to the lake. It's beautiful out here. The lake. The, well, I guess we're in the ocean now. I don't know. I keep saying ocean, and then we we're in the lake. Now we're in the ocean, and now you want to say lake. Uh, we're at the ocean. I don't know what the other boys are doing in the desert, what their weather's like. But dude, this is so, I mean, we're in like hoodies. It's like slightly chilly. It's perfect. Literally perfect. And Andrew's meeting us. He's, uh, he's one, he's with this movement, bow fishing. I got a fucking stingray! I got a fucking stingray! Oh my god! Um, so we're the same, the same crew. We shot the old stingray. Um, same crew going out here. You can see the sun's not even up yet. We got up really early. Woke about 3.45. Put that boat in the water. I don't even know what we're trying to catch. Uh, what are we trying to catch? Oh, okay. Bro, whatever swim. Okay. We're in the salt. We're in the ocean. There's just a million species. And we got shrimp. And we have live shrimp, so it should be good. Absolutely gorgeous. Could not ask for a more beautiful morning. Slight breeze, low 70s, and let's see. I think there's some big fish about to be caught too. Oh yeah, oh there's a jumping. Going right in front of the brain. Just through one side like this, and out the other. Okay, so he's still alive. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so look, cast is close to the, do you ever fish with a popping cork? No. Yeah, a lot. Not so really. What I would like to do is, is Make a cast, and then all you do is bring your rod up to the water with a kind of like a like a, like a popper. Sport. Yeah. Oh, okay. just like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. So it's supposed to imitate a bait fish popping on top of the water. Yeah, and then it gets their attention. They yeah. come up and they see the shrimp. Yep. Just like that. And yeah. how? I mean, how often are you popping this? So thing? I'll pop it, and then I'll let it sit for probably five or six seconds. You know, pop it again. Okay. Might there, wait ten seconds. Say, is there a cadence it. thing? Is like pop, pop. No, I just pop, just just, just one once. pop. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all I yep. need now. Then. I'm going for, any, well, I mean, honestly, anything that bites, to be yeah. honest with you, but redfish would be sick. We've been kind of floating around with them a little bit throughout the trip and haven't been able to link up with one. We, we shot at a few then didn't with no success, but we do also have the bows. So maybe go after some gar later. You said they're yep. spawning, right? Yep, gar spawning. So right I'm throwing popping cork and some shrimp, and uh, one night it's throwing artificial, throwing a little walking bait. So top water action live bait kind of polar opposite which is good we need to kind of cover cover the bases here and we got to get something in the boat just something we haven't caught before which it sounds like everything that you guys listed off we haven't caught before since we've only been catching freshwater fish so anything oh, that bites i think counts mike somehow i'm gonna catch a large mouth i already know the first fish today is gonna be a large mouth <laughs> we catch them in here pretty often too so uh, oh yeah there we go yeah. we got a bunch of grass beds today. right now so they've been sitting on the grass beds yep yep I was gonna go over there, but it's the water. Oh my god! Come on, come on, come on, baby. I don't know, it's it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty big, Mike. It's pretty big. Oh my god, oh! Oh! We're on, boys! I th I'm thinking wow. redfish. Wow. I think, be a good I think it's a redfish, dude. It's either a redfish or a 10 pound bass. Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's go, dude. He smoked it. Yes, sir. He smoked it. Oh, oh my gosh, that's right. gotta be a redfish. Yeah, we got the, we got the net over to the right. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh! A huge one! Alright, alright, alright. Let's go, baby! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Easy does it, buddy. Oh, there's another Oh, yes. Whoa! Dude, that's the size we're dealing with? Yeah, I'm following. Yep. Going back. Yo, he's Still taking you, bro. <laughs> bro, you got him if he got you. No, he's getting me right now. Dude, these things fight like crazy. Yeah, oh yeah, these things are sick. He's just digging. All right, come on, buddy. Wrangle him in there. Let's go there. Redfish, baby. Let's go. Yes, dude, number 16. <laughs> that is how. Dude. Biggest fish of the trip. Yeah, let's go. 
That might be like my second or third redfish ever, right there. Is that your biggest one too? I can't remember, but it's that's a big one. Is that a big one? That's probably not that big. One. Um, so this Average? one's in, you're gonna be in the slot range. He's probably about 23, 24 yeah. inches. So yeah. So this is a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep. Eesh. Well, boys, number 16. It only took, I don't know, not very long. <laughs> Well, redfish action, baby. Dude, they fight like crazy. <sighs> Species number 16 for us. First, these are technically saltwater, right? Yeah, brackish. Brackish, Make that's yeah, 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 yeah brackish. So, Everything yeah. around here has been brackish. But anyways, fish landed, 16 on the board. The approach for today is divide and conquer. I'm gonna throw something completely different than Lojo. We can't be fishing the same thing. If we throw the same thing, then we might just get stuck in a rut again. The nice thing is, is we are seeing fish. This is crystal clear water. There's carp everywhere. They're actually spawning under the docks. Might be a little bit difficult to catch them if they are spawning, because when they do that, they move around. But, you know, some guy walking past that he saw a striper down that way, and we just saw a nice little two pound bass. And I guess the boys got started a little early this morning, and they saw a couple of, a couple of largemouth as well. So I'm gonna start off with a little, little rip bait, because this water is so clean. Lojo's gonna try to sight cast and Ellen Bizzle could be spawning too. So, we got bread, we got corn, we got lures, we got tons of goon baits. We're set. Let's just make it happen. Oh my lord. Oh, I just have fish. I am an absolute moron. I was looking at all the carp and I just had a bass on, guys. If I had set the hook, I probably would have caught it. Oh, they got a go. Gotcha. Got you, we need you so bad. This might be a spot too. Let's freaking go. What have we got, what have we got, what have we got? No, please don't do this, friend. No, you may have swallowed the hook. Woo, we're on the board. That's right, folks, that is a large mouth right there. And that is another point for the good guys. Even though we may be losing this challenge, by God, we're not gonna quit. We're gonna finish this thing with some pride. And hopefully some bigger fish than this. But by golly, we got the largemouth knocked off the list. Boom, folks. What a beauty. Beautiful colors on that thing. Not very big. We've seen much bigger ones today. But let's go ahead and let him go right back to where he came from. Whoa, let's go. Well, I'll put the team on my back, you know. That's what I'm known to do, you know. Put the team on your back. Start to come back. And with old Johnny on my side, I mean, we at least got a chance, you know? Oh, oh, hold on. My grass. Oh, I see a fish, I see a fish. There's a red, right by my bait. I see it, um, there's a, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, come on, eat it, eat it, come on. He's right on my bait, he just went down. Eat it, you little Oh, he ate it! He ate it! He ate it! He ate it! I got him! That's the one I saw! Ah, he's ready! He's ready! Oh, what is that? Oh, I got a gar! Oh, we did a species! Let's go! That's a hundred... That's a... Bro! Yeah, we got a gar in this. A little spotted gar? Yeah, spotted gar. Alright, let me, let me, uh, let me... I got this. I'll take care of this guy. Alright. Is that 17? Hey! Calm down. Don't bite me. Oh, oh, these guys are hard to grab. Bro, go! Ah, I got him. I got you. All right. Ah, ah. Hold on to him now. Don't let go. I got him, boys. Let's go. It's spotted gore. Yeah, oh, spotted yeah. gore. Spotted gore. 100 points, I changed up my strategy. You guys saw it, and we got rewarded with another new species. My first fish of the day, and it's pretty long. Feels good. I'm not used to holding things quite this long, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna, I think we, okay, I think it was time to let him go. See you later, buddy. Woo! 1,700, we're getting to 20 today. We're getting to 2,000 points try to cover the hook. Actually, you're supposed to expose the hook, aren't you, with carp? Just barely? I can never remember. I don't carp fish enough to be an expert on this, but I know they love bread. I do know that. If you're going bread, I'll go corn. There you go. 
Keep it simple, boys. Keep it simple, boys. That's one of the biggest carp I've ever seen. Oh my god! Dude, John! Huge bluegill! Huge! Massive! Dude, massive! Dude, oh my god! <laughs> Look at this you know? thing! <laughs> it's the biggest bluegill I've ever seen! Oh shit! Land him! Land him, dude! Grab him! <laughs> Grab him! <laughs> That's the biggest bluegill I've ever seen! Have you ever seen anything like this? Look at this, dude! Holy I was. I the bread in the water, I was like suspending it, waiting for a carp. <laughs> what the f did you do? Dude, I just, go, I just go. broke the state record. Not, like Not really. Bro. <gasps> Look at that. Dude, you don't even have to long arm this thing. No. Oh my, and I'm lipping him like a bass. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how fat that fish is right there. Oh my God, Jerry. Okay. Look at that. He was just sitting under the dock right here. Oh, I don't even know what to say right now. I don't either. Just how fat the thing is, bro. It's okay. a butterball. Oh my god. That is insane. I watched it come out. And I said, no way this is about to happen. And he just ate it. 1.72 kilograms. Okay, we'll convert it. I'll convert it, but dude, dude. you gotta get some pictures. Yes. I think. That, that's what this lake's known. For. This lake is actually known for giant bluegill. I think the world record. It's actually this is a red ear sunfish, by the way, guys. Right, right. Holy oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna do a conversion on the weight on this thing in a minute. It's not quite a lake record probably, but for me, it's like a lifetime record a for a bluegill. Fish, so let's let her go. And we definitely want a fish like this to go back and be healthy and continue. Maybe this thing will grow into a, a world record or a state record oh, yeah. or something. Look at that dinner plate swim away. Dude, you just completed a, like a life goal man, I, to catch one of these giant Havasu bluegill. Dude, That's insane. The GoPro footage is going to be the best because I think you're going to be able to see it. Like, I literally, I'm chasing this big old, like, buffalo carp or something. I just dangle the bread in the water just like this, just off the bottom. I see this fish come out. I'm like, what is that? And he just eats it. And immediately I knew it was a bluegill. But it was, like, this big. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even have time to think. So I have, I have it right here. Yeah, what's the conversion, John? It's at least three and a half. Hang I know on. that. Oh, my God. I don't know where we are numbers-wise, but this morning... And being at Lake Havasu and catching a fish like that has made this whole thing worth it. Okay, 3.79 pounds. So 3.8. So it's over, it's three and three, it's over three and three quarters. Dude, almost a four pound bluegill. The crazy thing is I knew they were in here, but I was like, I don't know if we'd ever actually get no, something. No, we, we like, talked about yeah. it, how the, there, were huge, there were huge bluegill here, but that's certainly not what we were fishing for People just People watching now. right now are going to be like, what did you just do? I, and what's crazy is that's not even the, the world record is, I think like, you said like six, six right? Yeah. Can you imagine a six? Twice as big as that? Way bigger than that. Nice job, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, are we on? That's a fish. Got it. I got to do with fishy. I'm a little nervous here. I've never held one this small. She said. Who? Just like, just grab it up from below the, uh, yeah, these fins like right yeah, there. Your yep. thumb and finger, yeah, under it. You, yeah. You, you, you. <laughs> bro, I know they hurt. <laughs> Bro, I saw I saw a grown man cry when they got stuck by this guy before. <laughs> uh, got, got you. Him. You got it. <laughs> right here. What so is that, Mike? What, what, what is this a saltwater catfish? Yeah, saltwater yes. catfish. Is this a blue catfish or it's, a hard, no, just, it's called like a hard head. Hardhead catfish. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is another species of catfish. Saltwater, obviously. It's not big, but it's gonna be. A hundred points. We had eight. Is that a bite? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a bite. Get it, get double it. up. We doubled. Oh, oh, we got off. I took the rod in. <laughs> We're at eighteen hundred points now with this fish. It's been a good day out here. Shrimp's the deal. Let's let him go. Woo! Oh, I'm gonna continue jigging. I'm actually doing something a little different. These boys are fishing the popping corp popping cork suspending the shrimp I'm fishing this little tiny jig head and just threading a shrimp on and jigging on the bottom the bite oh oh got on the oh, the fish is bro we're Mike. crushing it let's Mike, go you're baby a beast. Mike you're a beast dude Woo! that little jig head yes sir. oh really? flounder down let's go flounder down baby Pulling through the old jig. Yep, the old little jig head. 
Bro, little shrimp. I'm all about little shrimp, bro. <laughs> they call me little shrimpy. All right. We've got a flounder. Dude, I tried those so are the weirdest fish. Yeah, they bro. are. They, look at the, they they go they like swim on the ground yeah, all they, flat like, and like the, flat. Yeah. Right there's on the bottom. There's nothing over there, yeah. I no wanted eyes. to catch one of these so bad yesterday. Dude, flounder. And dude. we didn't get it today. That's 19. 19. Almost we need one 20, more. dude. We need one more to hit our 20. Our goal is 20. We still have plenty of time. To, right now it's only 8:30. Yeah. But we got there. tons of time. We have the bows. I'm hoping you get your first Ooh. bowfish potentially. But I think 20 is, seems totally, totally doable now, for sure, easily. Especially you with that little jig head. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll John see. and Lojo are going to be uh, kicking themselves, seeing how many fish species yeah, we yeah. caught sending us over here. Oh yeah, big mistake. <laughs> well, Love there you it. go, guys. A little flounder action going. We're going to let this guy go. See you, buddy. Ooh. Well, we're going to try to get one rod, one reel, a, his first bowfish. Oh yeah, I got um, it. Oh wow, what's going on here? Wow. We're in the jungle right now, we're in the bayou. I mean, we're in the bayou. Yeah. So we're going after garfish. Uh, you said there's, we, well we already have, so we have both the spotted and alligator. So what which gar do we not have that we can shoot? Or do we have them? Long nose, real skinny, yeah. Okay, so we're going, long nose would give us a, an additional species. Honestly, we're just here to get a fish. We need Mike to get his first bow fish. He learned how to shoot a bow for bow fishing uh, the other night, so we gotta get him a fish. Whether we get a point or not, that'd be bonus, but or an extra species, I to say. Um, but we're, we're just gonna have to go after some fish, and then I think we're gonna head out, and if we got time. I think, we, I think we've got about 500 bucks left in the budget. We've been we've kept track, I, I haven't done all the math, but I think we're about 500 bucks, so if we have time, we'd like to go in and throw it all down on red. How much would we win if we put down all 500? Well, let's see. We can get to a thousand, two thousand, four thousand, eight thousand, sixteen thousand, just like that. So you say go five times just until yeah. you lose. So you're not saying just do it once. No, I'm saying take, go five. take our take our. Yeah. So if you do it once, it doubles your money, and you yeah. walk away with a thousand. So you don't want to take the thousand. No, no, no. You would no, keep no. rolling it no, into we're it. Five, we're rolling five times. We're rolling five times. Doing right. that first time, I'm taking that. I'm taking that thousand, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the oh, thousand. Yeah. Oh, got him! I got him! Got him! I got him! Let's go! Let's go! Oh! Oh, that thing is huge! Wow! Dude, that was a perfect wow. shot! Wow! Right on his back! Nail! Oh! Shit, watch yourself now! Dude! You Whoa! Man down! Sheesh! <laughs> Sheesh! Is that the biggest one you've ever shot? Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Have the you shot one of these before? No, because that's is that a gator? Alligator girl? Yeah, yeah I've, I've never shot an alligator girl. What the? First one. Look at that, baby. We already caught one, so it didn't add. Still yeah. having fun. Wow. That, I mean, this is how we end the trip this right is, here, man. Look at that, that, that thing bad is boy. huge. I don't even know how you hold Bro, this without Bro, that's literally, dying. if there was a bullseye, no, sorry. Right that, that, on would his be, back. that would be the absolute bullseye. Oh, yeah. oh easy, 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 easy. All right, we'll just toss, we'll just toss him back. Yeah, see well, that, that one? Look, right at him. look at him, look at him, look at him. All right, good. here it goes. Yeah. Boom. Released. He's good. You think he'll, he'll make it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, oh, they're yeah. Those things right the there, dude. The guard and the stingrays are on the same level. The guard and the stingrays. You, like, you whenever we, like, go in, like, bowfish form, like, for, uh, for work and stuff like that, like, you could shoot a... We'd shoot like 60 or 70 of them, just throw them right back off the dock once we get back in. And they're, they're fine. They're fine. Swim right, swim right over. That is crazy to me. Yeah, those things are... It's just an ear piercing to these bad boys. I'm getting back in. Lojo, we're on. We're on, buddy. We're on. I believe it's a big carp. It's a big carp. Lojo! We're on, baby. We're on, baby. <laughs> big carp. Big carp, dude. I'm gonna need your help on this one. Yep. I have six pound test on. Six pound test? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is he ripping? Yeah. Oh, he's screaming. It's a good one, dude. I think, oh my. I think it's one of those big, big ones. Oh no! Just judging from the fight. <gasps> oh my god, dude! <laughs> Your rod is, is dude. I'm so glad we came to have this. Dude, this dude. is the most insane. Why did we not start here? I don't know. We're idiots, though. We started in freaking Phoenix of all places. <laughs> we started a pond in Phoenix. We gonna take about an hour to let yeah, this dude play himself I out. I should have put some heavier line on there. I wasn't like thinking. I, oh, I had six pound on there for the bath, so I was like, wow. Yeah. 
place has made a big fish. Yeah. What's that? Oh my gosh, you got a net. Oh, Do yeah, you mind we if we that borrow that? Oh Thank my you gosh. So much, your life yeah. yeah, it would have been funny to watch me try to get it. Man, if it's as big as he thinks, we might just be able to get the head in here, but. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wrong. She's not facing the right way. That's fine. Oh, let's, let's go, go. baby! <laughs> let's, let's go, go dude. Oh, look at that. That's a double digit carp. That's a double. Day. That's a dub. Let's Boys, go, baby. We are making it happen out here. Oh, we, are, we are the underdogs in this whole challenge. We are making it happen. We came in today like biggest losers. Oh, yeah. Challenge. Biggest freaking losers. Not anymore. Holy Stand God. next to you with the net in case she flops. This might be quick, guys, but. Here we have it. Yes, let's Species go. number five, is that what this is? I don't even know. This is a common carp out of Havasu. This is probably one of the smaller ones too. There's some really big ones down there. Wow. Long fight, we're gonna snap a few pictures and send her back on her way. That's freaking Such an cool. underrated fish. Carp are malicious fighters. This <laughs> I can't believe awesome. this, dude. Yeah. Back you go, big girl. She's really worn out. Yeah. Close to the thing. I low to like usually they kick off. Look. What a start! <laughs> a mega carp, this. a mega red ear sunfish. You've caught a bass. Actually, we've got six now, right? Yeah, I think six is right. And we've yeah. got some cool ones too. Like, there's yeah. no way they're going to be able to catch a, that was a carp. big carp. Yes, yeah, sir. There's no way they're going to be able to catch any of these species we're catching, which is cool. I, yeah. I know we're down and out, but like, listen, we're having fun, and this is an opportunity to kind of show how different the fisheries are. Louisiana has got way different fish than what we're fishing right now. We're, right. I mean, we're on complete opposite sides. Of the nation, so I mean, I think what are we at? We'll maybe try for a smallmouth. Smallmouth. We still got catfish. We still catfish. haven't caught a catfish. That could be like a bread ball scenario too. For catfish. sure. Catfish. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Else? I don't know. I mean, there's so many different species of like of all these fish. So. Striper. Stri yeah, striper. I think. Yeah. I think from here on out, we're just gonna fish and see what bites. So we got the two. We got the two big ones that we wanted to catch, and that was the carp and then that mega bluegill. Let's freaking go, boys! Oh, oh, come on! Oh, that's a that's a that's a, that's a big oh. fish. That's a big fish. We're right, dude, right into the water. Wow, dude, stripping, stripping, oh, yeah. stripping, yeah. son. Sheesh. How do you get all the big? Fish? I don't know. I think it's a pretty good one. Sheesh. Wow, dude! Oh my god! The These things him. fight like crazy, dude. Oh! He's oh. big, dude. He's no. big. He's big. He's oh my gosh, good. he's big. He's big. He's big. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a big ass fish, dude. That's a giant rip. This is a big fish, dude. Oh. This is a tank, dude. That, that, this is a tank. Yeah, it might take a second to get him all the way. Let's see. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Dude, no! yes! Yes! I think it's an Woo! Wow! <laughs> <What the heck? laughs> Look at that fish, dude! Sheesh! As that soon is, as it hit the water, I literally crazy. just cast it in there. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that's a great fish. Wow. <laughs> think about that one, eh? Dude! <laughs> this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, bro, let me I don't know if I've ever caught a redfish. Dude. No, like, what the hell? How hard is I think it's kicked my ass, dude. <laughs> wow. How long is this, do you think? We can measure him. He's probably about 29 to 30 yeah, inches. Yeah, uh, it might be close to 30. It might, be hitting, it might be hitting 30. I think it, I think it will. Let's see. About on the edge he there. Is, uh, right at 30. Nice, 30 inch. dude. 30 incher. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful fish, dude. Hardest fighting fish pound for pound. They have to yeah, be, dude. Yeah. They have to be. Unreal. Doesn't add to the score, but I'll take it, dude. This is incredible. Such a sweet fish. All right, buddy. Going back in the water. Woo! Oh, oh shit. yeah. She's ready. All right, she's got it. <laughs> All right, take your time. Well, dude, it's a giant, dude. That was Thank a giant. You guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh. Margarita time now, Mike. No, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I think we deserve some margaritas yeah. now. They got something better at the Venice Marina. It's called oh, a bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. Oh, that? Yeah. What's a bushwhacker? It's got. Uh, let's see. It's got. There's no nothing. No mixer in it. It's just straight alcohol. It's a frozen. No, but it's, 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 like a it's frozen milk. though. It's, so huh. it's kind of yeah. like a daiquiri. 
This, yeah, this sounds amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, really a it's a two drinker. It's a two drinker. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're sharing. <laughs> okay. I mean, we each get one. Let's, we'll go, uh, it's our last day, bro. Let's okay. go ham. <laughs> Woo. All right. Well, it didn't add to the list, but dude, unbelievable fish catch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. His was spotted too, right? Same fish? Yep, same fish. Actually, that might be oh, a little, no, is it? No, that's a different That's an alligator no. guard. That's, gator guard. that's an alligator guard, dude, no way. No way, yeah, it is. You see how yeah, short his nose the, the, is? The, the nose, yeah. yeah, the nose isn't real skinny like that. It's more flat on the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a little no, alligator yeah, the pattern is different. That's number 20, dude. Let's, let's go. <laughs> when you're fishing the ocean, you never know what you're going to pull out. That's, that that's is crazy. crazy. We pull out like six different species in like wow. a couple minutes. So that's, a, that's another species right oh, there. Yeah. That's an alligator guard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, I want to see how you handle these things. They're impossible. I know. I, I'm nervous, bro. I'm, <laughs> you can hold, you hold one more, right? I mean, no, oh, not okay. really. <laughs> <laughs> and, and watch out for his mouth. It's like a razor. Drink. You do not want to get your fingers in that mouth. Oh, golly. <laughs> Easy. Oh, that's oh you got you got that farmer's grip, bro. Let's go. <laughs> that gorilla grip, Mike. You know all about that. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh god, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> he counts. He counts. Twenty, Mike. Twenty, 20. baby. The old two zero, right? John Lojo. I don't know what you're at, but if you beat us, hey, I'm gonna take my head off to you. <laughs> just crossed the bridge. We are staying over there and we're now gonna fish over here. This is the London Bridge in Havasu. And before we get to fishing, I figured this would, uh, this would be a good opportunity to talk some smack to the boys. I don't think yeah. we have as many as them, obviously, but dude, your bluegill is worth yeah, bragging. Come on. Yeah, you're, you're, the bluegill bragging and the carp, I mean, they don't have anything size-wise that good. At least, I, I don't think so. Who are you gonna pick up? Mike, for sure, will pick Mike up. Mike will pick up. Hey, boy. Hey, what's, what's going on? You guys look like uh, Roblox characters. <laughs> You guys look, oh, shit. oh, poor connection. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Can you can you see us? We're out of here. Out of here. I can hear you. We're we're leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? You're leaving. We're we literally booked flights and we're leaving right now. <laughs> no way. Why? <laughs> We, we caught every species that this state has, so we might as well sleep yeah, now. There's no more species to catch, bro. We got them all. It's time to go. Yeah, we're literally headed to the, we're literally headed to the airport right now. Bro, let me tell you what. Leo Shang was jealous of the fish species I was catching. He doesn't even have them on his list. It's over. <laughs> They're literally They're leaving. Done. They're literally done. <laughs> oh my well, god. Well, we didn't we didn't call to hear about your day. We actually wanted to brag a little, so we're gonna send you a video real quick, and then you guys can respond, okay? Okay, okay, okay. You think they cast netted like 17 species? <laughs> I bet they did. <laughs> then we're gonna be in a little trouble because we did not catch every species in the state. We did good, but if they like cast netted a million different I bet they cast netted some yeah, fish. Yeah, we might actually be in a little trouble. <laughs> no <laughs> way, dude. There's Let's no see. way. We'll see. There's no way. Bro. So they said they're sending us a video. We have to. John's good with the cast net. Really? Yeah, he is. Lojo's probably good too. Bro, imagine if they both took cast nets. And they just dumped them in a, a little in a little creek spillway for an hour. They said they're gonna send us a video. It has to be of like just a bunch yeah. of fish. Right? Yeah, I, it's gotta be. Oh, oh what? A, whoa! God. Is that a what? bluegill? <laughs> that is the biggest freaking shell cracker. The biggest bluegill I've ever catched. <laughs> bluegill, this big? It's like three. It's like a five-pound bluegill. Oh my god, bro. Okay, I feel fine though. Okay, I was yeah. I was expecting like just a smorgasbord of fish. If, if we, if That's doing, really cool. If though. we were doing contests and who had the closest to a state record, yeah. they would win yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. if we got that was like a nine-pound bluegill, <laughs> just, just a video. That's the biggest I've ever Woo. seen. That was uh, awesome. That was, I, I congrats, boys. Yeah, yeah. You congrats got, to John or, or Logan. Hey, you got a but. big freaking hundred-point fish. Good job. Thumbs up. Here it is. This is our last ditch effort to make something happen here. We are now on the lower end of Lake Havasu. This is Parker Strip. This is where I actually fished with Perrick on Never Stop Tour 2. It's incredible. You got current coming from the main lake, dumping into this little weird river system, which is essentially the Colorado River. And this is where the big smallmouth come. You know, I've caught smallmouth before, but you know who has not caught smallmouth before? My boy Lojo, who is now taking a pee. He's taking a pre-smallmouth pee-pee 
and uh, he's getting himself prepped up for um, what is essentially going to be the cherry on top of our Arizona trip. This U.S. Guggen Challenge has been quite the whirlwind, and uh, I appreciate you, uh, Flair and One Rod, for sending us to Arizona because it's been tough, but at least we're ending on a high note. That's all that matters, and I think this would be the deal that seals it all if we catch a smallmouth. Because you know what they didn't catch? They didn't catch a smallmouth, That's they right. didn't catch a pike, they didn't catch a trout, and they damn sure did not catch a state freaking record, almost state blue record gill. freaking blue Or it gill. would be in like most of the states in America. I think like two years ago it would have been a state record. They're That's breaking crazy. the state record every year. Yeah. So. By the way, the spot we're fishing right now may or may not be U.S. government property. But we're not parked on the property. Right. And, you know, we're going to walk down to avoid. We're There's legal. people like boating and stuff right there. Yeah, so, so like what's the difference? What's the difference? It's standing on the bank and We're fishing. legal. We have our fishing license. That's right. Um, and, uh... Yeah, I mean, we're trained professionals, so don't do this at home. We made it down here, folks. It was a little treacherous, but it wasn't even that bad, really. But we see what looks to be a very large smallmouth bass on a bed. I mean, it was there when we first pulled up. We saw it from the road. It was that big. So I don't know how big we're talking. I've never caught one. Let's see if we can dangle a little rattle and net in there and see what happens. Let's go! Oh, that's a good one too. That's, that's not good. even bad. Nice fish, nice fish. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, dude. Dude, oh the freaking drop shot. Let's go! My first smallie ever. And it's a good one. Dude, look at that <laughs> red <laughs> eyes on it. Look They're at the so bite. Cool, dude. They're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is on six pound leader. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, next to the rocks. That's so scary. You're good. You're good. Let's go, Let's go dude. <laughs> that is what it's all about. <laughs> Go. Arizona putting out on the last day, baby. Let's go. Down nice job. Last First moment. Ever Let's go. Not a bad one either, dude. Oh, no, dude. No. Not a bad one at all. <laughs> dude, let's freaking go, man. I looked down. We're like looking that way. I looked down. There's a little brown thing swam up to us all aggressive. I'm like, what the heck? It's sure enough. It's a freaking ate the, smallie. Ate the deadly. What did I say? You said that. The Ned rig. They cannot resist it. Oh this time gosh. on a drop shot opposed to like a traditional Ned rig style rig. And uh, she ate it. That's crazy. How cool. Man. They look, these are like the prettiest fish. They ones are the too. absolute prettiest fish, man. Golly, <laughs> I can't believe it. It's been a long time coming, man. Let's Beautiful go. fish. Man, she fought every bit as hard as people say they do. You yeah. know, everybody says they fight so much harder than largemouth, and they 100% uh, do. Incredible. I know, dude. What a way to end this what whole a, trip. What a way to end it, man. I don't think this is going to be our winning fish, but you know what no. it is? It's, it's winning in real life. I know, dude. As this an, this is winning. Yeah, as an angler, as someone who's never really fished this place, you've never really fished this place. No. Dude. Wow, man. <laughs> incredible. Freaking incredible, man. Put it there, man. Nice <laughs> Let's job. freaking go. Jeez, what a what an amazing fish, guys. It's only worth one point in this competition, but like John said, man, this, this whole trip and this day specifically has been worth all the struggle. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Man. Let's get him back. Such an epic fish. Oh, look at that fish take off. Nice job, dude. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Oh my god, striper, big 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 striper. Oh my god. Big striper. Big striper. Oh my god, big striper. Oh my god, big striper. Big, 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 big fish. Can't lose this guy. It is a good stripped bass. It's a stripper. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Your type Come stuff? On. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a jerk bait, too, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm just going to hope he's really hooked good. Landing him is going to be fun. I see him. Well, I'm just going to try to easy in. I just want to touch you. We need this point, baby. We need this point. We are hooked up on something big, boys. <laughs> there he is. There he, he is. Comes. Oh, there, dude, there's not. There's multiple. Oh, oh someone. Else. Oh my God, there's a giant one. Dude, Do you have uh, any bait? Throw that, throw that glide. I got more jerk baits. More, I got more jerk baits in there. Right, right, I got right. that thing rigged up right cut there. The, cut, throw the. 
Right here? Oh, no, no, the swim bait right there. Swim bait right there. There's three others. There's three others. The rod over here? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, dude. They're big. Like the other ones are way bigger than mine. Yep, right, right, right. They're close to shore. Dude, good one. Dude, good one. Good one. Good one. Big giant. But oh, you see it? It's smallmouth. You have a smallmouth. Oh, I have a small oh, there's a striper going for your smallmouth. Oh my god, look at look this. At this. Shit. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> small, I stole my striper. Oh my god. trying to eat him. Oh, dude, look at this striper. That striper's him, huge, dude. That striper's huge. Oh. Dude. Oh my god, I cannot think Come right here, now. Molly. I cannot think right now, dude. I know, I want to shake him oh loose. Oh my freaking gosh. Come off! Dude, stop. look at all these stripers. <laughs> oh my god! This is incredible! They're wondering what the, the smallmouth is doing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Does anybody have look, look, at this, look at the striper on top! Oh my god, that's oh. not even my fish that made that wake. Jeez, anybody have pliers? I do. I, I got them uh, in, my, in my bag all the way over there. We went from sitting on our asses throwing dough bait an inner, inner, like inner city Phoenix to now just having the time of our life. We're in Havasu, catching just about everything that loves to eat. That's a good striper. Damn, I really underestimated the size of this fish. That's actually pretty good fish. Oh I don't gosh. know where he went. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go, Johnny! Eat that flare in one rod. You're not going to catch a striper, I guarantee it. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, what is that, like number eight, I think? Number seven or eight? We went I don't from, know. We went what from you... day one to having nothing to now having like the best fishing day of our, like probably one of my entire lives. We have to be like honorary champions in this oh. or something because this is oh. just insane. We're out here just making it happen, dude. Look at that thing. That's a good that's one. A good yeah, one. That's, that's not even a small probably, one, really. Uh, yeah, it's a 23 inch striper maybe. maybe. Like you said, from the bank. I mean, it's been here. It's a big striper. Man. Yeah, bass gear on the Guggen Green two piece. Oh my Lord. Don't underestimate our rods, man. They can make it happen. Look at the size of that fish. Very long and lean. Very stereotypical for a freshwater striper. What an incredible species. Not too many places in the United States where you can catch smallmouth and striper on the same stretch of bank, especially from shore. Thank you, Havasu. Thank you, Striped Bass. Trying to send old girl back. She put up a hell of a fight. Holy hell, dude. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite fish on earth. And it was a, such a pleasure to hang out with you this trip. I did not think I'd get a chance to catch a striper, but wow. Back down she goes. <laughs> Put it there, you freaking Googans. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Woo! Bojo, this is an experience. Every time we seem to link up, we make it happen. Yep. I don't know what the final tally is. We still have to figure out what, uh, what the score is. I know the boys were hammered them, but like, listen. We put in 120% today. We put 127. Three days. Yeah, three days. Yeah. We really did. We hopped off a plane. 9 p.m. We got on the road. 10 p.m. We started fishing the first day. Yeah. Didn't work out for the catfish. Yeah, but we got carp. We got like the world's biggest freaking red, <laughs> red, uh, red ear sunfish. Red sunfish. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, smallmouth, largemouth. I mean, you can't complain. And yeah. freaking pike too. Yeah. So you know, and we, we also did all this without a boat, like from the bank. That should be said. No. And yeah. we didn't have a saltwater. We didn't option, have any. We really so. didn't have any much help either. Yeah. We, we didn't just kind of relied on Google Maps and yeah. just kind of our. Guggen intuition, and yeah. we made it happen. That's so, right. I mean, I feel like we won, but maybe in a different, uh, different we're the, realm. We're the people's champs. We are the so, people's champs. That means we may have lost the actual <laughs> game, but everybody knows at home they would have rather gone with us. You know what I mean? We freaking put it down. Guys, if you want to check out any of the gear we use today, it's all linked down below. If not for the Guggen apparel, we would not be able to stay nice and cool and Respect. not stinky. We smell great, dude. You smell great. I smell Incredible. great. Dude, freaking, we're not sunburnt. We've got all the gear we needed. You know, Ned rigs, all the hooks, all the weights, all the gear we use today, that will all be linked down below. Also, don't forget, if you're going to be doing a, a trip like this, if you want to do a trip on a budget, which, which by the way, we've not broken the budget. I think we, we still have not. about $210 left. Yeah. Um, go on, hop on a plane, grab a two-piece travel Guggen Green Rod, get one of our new tackle bags, and yep. get out there, explore, fish new waters, because we did this week, and I will never forget this trip. No, me neither. This was absolutely incredible. So we thank you guys so much for watching, and... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll see who came up as the, the true victor. So we, uh, apparently y'all ended the trip early, right? Yeah, we all, we, we left like half a day early. <laughs> So you know, was that through confidence that y'all just thought you had it in the bag? <clears throat> well, you know, we fished our 48 hours and we didn't want to fish anymore, but there's just, honestly, there's 0% there's chance that you guys caught, I, even if you caught every species in Arizona, I don't think you could have matched us. As simple okay. as that.
I mean, we, we heard through the grapevine that you guys had just caught tons of species. So me and John, you know, I mean, the first day we didn't do much, but we ended up with largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, striped bass, right? So we got Trifecta. some going on right here. Then we had giant carp. We had nearly a state record red ear sunfish, oh a.k.a. God. a bluegill. We trapped a tiny little, like, uh, creek oh. thing. Yeah. So we, we also went all the way up to the mountains. We were in, like, almost 10,000 feet above sea level. We caught a trout and then a pike. That's wow. Right. Yep. That's yeah. right. In Arizona, I never would have thought that'd be possible. I uh, know. We, we, we really worked, uh, for lack of better words, we worked. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll give you credit, though. You guys got, like... Every freshwater, you guys did way better better than I expected. And for Arizona, I think you guys absolutely crushed it. What what, what was your guys' finances looking like? Did that did you guys blow through the budget? Did you we, save? We actually had I think two hundred and ten dollars left. No, we were good. We were fine on budget. And uh, that that's what gas. We we rented a car because we drove probably like I don't know seven eight hours. <coughs> yeah, like, we drove all over the place. Wow, we drove. Yeah. Miles total, hundred. Uh, budget, budget wise, Mike, Mike and I took the approach of in case we don't catch a lot of fish, uh, let's save as much money as possible. So we, um, we got driven around by subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> we hitchhiked. Yeah, Y'all look smart, about that. I, I and, remember, uh, before you flying out, I was at, at the house and I saw Flair's story and I'm like, oh, these boys are serious. Yeah. Oh, so we had within 25 minutes, someone, someone picked us up, dropped us. We carried his luggage to Claire Mike, caught a bass in the first cast at the city park, landed that. Uh, another subscriber met us, picked us up, took us, we chased catfish and alligators, and then, and that's when we went boat fishing. Not not to get an alligator for the challenge, but we encountered a lot of gators and then, you know, hung out with them or whatever, but, uh, and then we went boat fishing, where we shot that stinger, right? Eh? Yeah, and then for, you know, for dinner, we went to the gas station. <laughs> Our first night was that night we, we said we were boat fishing. We had two fish jump in the boat, and we did count those as catches. I don't know, but it jumped in our boat, and then we yeah, grabbed them, and we counted them as catches. We had a bullet. It looked like a herring. Yeah. <laughs> they jumped into the boat. Are you kidding me? We were doomed, bro. We were doomed from day well, now day two, what happened was we went to uh, a, a sub picked us up and went to a private golf course lake, and it was just and they had a fish feeder on the dock, and it was just so many fish. Mike. We caught like six species of sunfish in like ten minutes, and then we went to the creek and I caught a Bayou top minnow, which I had Leo ID. Uh, uh, at that point, that was like an hour and a half at seven species, and we just knew that it was game over at that point. Long, long story short, you guys had basically sealed the deal like the morning of basically day one. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Day three, we hit the salt water, and we had a great day in the salt water. Red Larry got a monster redfish. Then I got. We were following y'all's stories the entire time, and when I saw you guys were going out with poppy corks, I'm like. <laughs> So, <laughs> they got shrimp and popcorn. <laughs> hey, like we're we're screwed. We're, yeah, yeah. No, it was it was good. So I think in total we ended with uh, twenty species. Exactly twenty. Yeah, yeah. Twenty. Yeah, twenty on the dot. Good. We yeah. got later. Oh, our goal was twenty. Once we had twenty, we said, "All right, let's creep up twice. Let's go." <laughs> we, had, we had low drill, like we had like eight or seven. Eight, seven or That's eight. That's really good for Arizona. But you guys, we had salt water and fresh water. Like half our species came with salt water. So you know, if it was fresh water only, it was pretty close. Ten to eight, it would have been pretty close. Yeah, I think I think international should be the next. That would be insane. Absolutely insane. No, 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 all jokes, all jokes aside, I think that would be pretty amazing because we've done two of these now, and. Uh, Doing that would be very ridiculous. And then especially if we were to do like some sort of bomb, like blindfold thing, we get someone to come with us and you know, they just kinda of guide us on the plane and check us in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we get the translator, like, who are you? Oh, I'm your translator. I'm like, where am I? Oh, you're in Morocco. <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> nice. Pretty fun. Yeah, I agree. Let's do international one. If you guys people who walk home, if you guys want to see an international challenge opposed to a national challenge, let us know, and uh, we'll make it happen. Appreciate the view.
Awesome. Take care, guys. Have a good one. All right. Signing out. Peace.